How do you know? I I kind of just guess. Yeah. Do you feel it? Like it's a I feel them applause. <laughs> I feel the I feel the the viewers. <laughs> I can feel their presence. Yes. <laughs> oh, welcome. Welcome, friends, to another Democratic primary debate. Wait, no. Wait. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not this channel. What uh what are we what are we doing here? What is this? This is the firing pin live. Oh, where we do a live stream so about we just firing pins. We do this live. Yes, this is just out there. What if I can't watch it live? And you would watch it on anywhere uh, podcasts are uploaded, including Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Amazon, Google. Wow, sounds like a lot of work. If it's not on your podcast place of choice, let me know. I'll get it there. That's already too many choices. Crave, <laughs> crave. <laughs> How's the internet? It's looking a little unique. I got a little notification. What? Hi, Donna. Hi, Gemma. Oh. I don't like. But. Hit the record button, too. Matt Wolf said he was bringing citra pills. So I said, mm-hmm. okay. dilly dilly. <laughs> Say it again, Joe. Yeah, the notification went. Oh, cool. Mm. All right. So now we're here. Now we're live. James Skag just says men. Indeed. 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 <laughs> dilly dilly. <laughs> dilly dilly. <laughs> I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Did you guys have a good Thanksgiving? I did. I yeah. did. Oh, you know what? I. Brother has a new girlfriend. Yeah. Guess who her mom's now late best friend was. Can you can you say this? Kathy Hoko. Go ahead, say it. The one that was involved in the car Aww. crash of the, the Peace Bridge. Oh. Yeah. Completely shocked. It was Crazy. not it was not a terrorist attack whatsoever. It was a heart attack. And yes, I can't say that. I just said that was insane the amount of damage that that like yeah was that all just from the car? Did they hit like a propane tank that was judging by well, look, look there? at the camera just fucking crazy? Gone. Yep, it so. was like a like a Rolls Royce or something big too, wasn't it? It was like Rolls Royce Bentley, something like that. Maybe that's why. I mean, those things could go. In. The guy, the guy owned a bunch of like eight thousand pounds, yeah, something uh, actual missile. Hope no. I hope you enjoy the entire thing. By oh, I thought we were sharing this. I just cracked this purple drink. By the way, Maria, if you're watching, I'm drinking a Jenny Light. I'm sorry. That's well, she doesn't like Jenny. <laughs> no, I love Jenny, but not Jenny Light. Oh well, you're you know you're trying to be responsible. It's, it's for your figure. And Pete, if you're watching, I'm also drinking a Jenny Light. Jenny Light's great. Who's Pete? But who's Pete? Pete is watching. And they were roommates. My uh my, my dog, my dog kids parents. <laughs> this is a riveting start of a stream. <laughs> uh we have got a lot to talk about this week. Uh we didn't have a stream last week. Oh, I want to work on Thanksgiving. Oh, oh. Well, that was you guys. No, I'm just kidding. But barely. <laughs> yeah. I didn't feel like it. Yeah. 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 I was just because some t shirt factory burned down 100 years ago. You guys have rights now. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Shout out to the Triangle. Guys. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, uh, workers of the 20th century. Also, the invention of the crash bar. Really? Yeah. That was that? That was a yeah. factory. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yes. <laughs> You can't chain your own doors shut in this country anymore. It's bullshit. Bullshit. Speaking <laughs> of, <laughs> I got nothing, nothing that, to move on of, to. If you would have let into that title, that, that headline is tight. Yeah. Brandon, read that headline. No, we got to save it. We got to save The news segment isn't yet. We got we to gotta tease them a little bit. We got to squeeze them a little bit. You know what you We're should never get, wait for? We're going to get local. Get working out. Oh, geez. You know where you can? Where? We're going to need to work out after if this. You were, okay, so if you were going to, if you were in Genesee County, like logically, you wouldn't go to any place but the the highest rated. I would go like above voted. and beyond at Beyond <laughs> Driven <laughs> Fitness. That's right. Genesee County's voted best gym. Is it in the county? In or the county? Genesee County like, tri- like that's a big county. I'm gonna say honestly big, though, lo- in the Glow region. Whoa. Deny that claim. Deny it. Name a better gym. You can't. I'm, I'm, go beyond I'm trying, going. but I can't. You can't. Can't do no. it. 
go beyond that claim. Plus, <laughs> you're good. You're good. Are you guys expecting? Good. I might, I might, might be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hasn't digested since Thanksgiving. <laughs> Seriously. I have an expired turkey. Pounds, <laughs> it, it really hurts by now. It's crowded. That's good. That's good. All right, none of the other sponsors. Yeah, fire. I, I did really good. But <laughs> <laughs> if you want to keep your sweaty gym close. <laughs> Sweatier, I, yeah, it's sweatier. their own micro environment. <laughs> How did could you put your leftovers in an API bag? Ooh, why couldn't you? Give me, give me four reasons. How long do you think rice Shrew. lasts in an API bag? Oh, forever. You could probably keep <laughs> forever. You, you could dry <laughs> store your rice in an API bag. I'm sure. Why? Are we, that's a good. I never thought about that. Just dry storage for food. If it's a micro environment, though, and you're giving them food, does that mean we're, like ra- a- we're raising the micro? So we have Whoville. Because Horton here, it was in like a little speck. <laughs> okay, okay. food. So go with me. They can, they infuse. There's so a, there's a, <laughs> there's, a, there's a there's a chemical that they put into the bag that like off gases, and that's that's what makes that micro environment so micro. Mitch, Jason, bag, is this food, infuse, is it food safe? Is it food safe though? But could they confuse yeah. like butter or something <laughs> that's just know, a butter bag? Slag <laughs> <laughs> in my butter bag. <laughs> Could they infuse mesquite or Mes- whatever? Like <laughs> barbecue? I don't know. <laughs> you're talking about like a sous, like a sous vide. Like if you were to sure, yeah, exactly. You're, well, you're talking you're, about long term yeah. storage. Like, yeah. okay, so you got plain, and then like I want when my stuff comes out, it's like a Cajun barbecue, Cajun garlic, whatever. Tony's, Tony's Josh, Tony's, if you're watching, Tony's if you're watching, Josh, and you're decide you don't want to do anything in mason jars, can you get some API bags? <laughs> it's just. Okay, so they're meant to store your guns and your ammo. We're, we're, and beyond. That, that's where the collab is you know, with API we're, Beyond we're, Driven. We're unsure, the, you know. Jury's still out, let's say, on if it's good for food. They're like furiously. They're just like, <laughs> God damn it. Legal, no, legal do team. <laughs> All the bags have to put like, do not store food in the it. My no. mashed potatoes are fitting. <laughs> my mashed potatoes. I've been watching these boys on the YouTube. <laughs> you need to see my ENT now. <laughs> Please don't store your food in the API bag. Unless you But can. they're good for guns and ammo. You know what else is really good for guns? Keeping them really oiled. And yeah. Protected. How would you do other that? than with API bags? Yeah, don't set us up. We I did one. Brandon, one's your turn. With breakthrough cleaning. It's upside down, buddy. Wow. No, it's oh, perfect. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with breakthrough. Breakthrough is great. Um, I like these kits because it comes with the rod and everything you need. Okay. The other really cool thing is it Which is, is not stinky. Yeah, it's really pretty. Nice. It's pretty nice on the nose. Your significant other doesn't get really mad whenever you're cleaning your firearms. Jesus, the smell and it's is. non-toxic. So I wouldn't say eat it, but theoretically, it's not toxic good. though. So if you use like big doses of it, it might hurt you. Yeah. <clears throat> Breakthrough's great. We've been using it on our rentals for a long time. We're gonna continue to use it on our rentals for a long time. Multiple gun companies are using it now. Yeah. Col- collabs are happening. It wouldn't no one would not want it, I guess, if they weren't. I've yet to try their suppressor stuff because there's really you know, yeah. need to do that in New York, but we're going to be doing a lot more suppressor rentals in the future, and I'm sure we'll be using their suppressor cleaner too. Mm-hmm. And the NFA. Mm-hmm. And the so NFA for sure. we have got a lot of a lot of things have happened this week, i.e. the old building, mm-hmm. right? And the lack thereof. And yeah, she's gone. She's gone. Uh, we finally... Everything is is lined up. We've actually the building's here. Mm-hmm. They were pretty spot on about that delivery day. Yeah, like I was the, impressed. The building is here. It's it's ready to be assembled. Pretty much, they're they're going to be pouring the foundations here in the next week or two, and and it's it's going to be it's going to go up quick. So they say. Uh, and we're still open. We have not been given. Um, they don't ex- anticipate any time where we're going to have to be a hundred percent shut down. Some of the parking might be a little limited like it was the other day. Uh, we might have to shuffle some things around a little bit, but the temporary shop remains open. So we're, we're there open all day, every day. Well, not all day, but most of the hours that the sun please, is up, please, please don't. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired boss. <laughs> we were looking at those, at those open signs. I wanted to get them uh-huh. open 24 hours. 
wouldn't that be fun? In our hearts. Cam, yeah. Yeah, it's, the firing pin's always open here. <laughs> Michael asks, are we going to write something in the concrete? We're going to drop penises. Mm. I'm just going to put my entire... I'm make sure you are not scheduled that day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm just going to put my entire... Did I said we were going to drop penises? Yeah. I'm just going to print. Yes, we will probably immortalize... I'm sure we have to. ...ourselves. We didn't last time that I know of. Well, you Take a finger, drop in the concrete. The range. Well, I just, I, what I did was I saved a piece of concrete. Piece of that looks like a stony. It's actually a piece of right? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about like saving a like a couple big pieces and then like breaking them up, putting them in like little sealed up, them, like, yeah, them, like yeah. <laughs> 20 bucks, collectible piece of the store. We should get some business cards, the fun business cards, and put them in the concrete for future generations. You know. Oh, I know what you mean. You know. You know the business. I know what you mean. The like, secret ingredient. Paul Allen's business card. <laughs> the eggshell. <laughs> the off-white. It has a watermark. <laughs> All right. Time no. capsule would be cool. Michael, again, spitting fire. Time that capsule would be, cool. would be pretty cool. That would be cool. We could do that. We could, we could you make like a super... Something else. Yeah, they super don't pour person. the floor until after the building is like completely up. So the, the concrete floor doesn't get poured for like two more months, I want to say, or like another, at least another month. Jesus. So we got some time. We should do one. That would be fun. Could we disassemble like a 1911 or something? Just encase it forever. Nonsense. Imagine our ATF audits. Like, where's that one? <laughs> where's that one? No, we had that Drill one. here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, Mark, it's down there. Mark, you. Mark, if you're watching, we're kidding. We're kidding. We're kidding. Yeah, totally kidding. That would be not for sure. I'm uh, sure. All right, what's the craziest headline that you see over Speaking here? Speaking of kosher. It's okay. Jeez. New York's Bruin response gun control law has put the city's Jews in danger. I don't like the headline. I Crazy just, headline. Weird. Really strange. Uh, that, who, who, where is that headline from? Trat? Who's Trat? I only printed out, like, you printed out the least. That's all the article had. <laughs> Did you even read it? Did you read it? We're reading it now for the first time, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> I don't know if that's an article in New York Times, but yeah, basically that because of everything going on, right? And I don't, we don't want to get into that, but all the stuff going on, that there's an increase, 73% uh, in a great deal or some anti-Semitism. I don't see how the Bruin decision ties into that. But she's giving seventy five million dollars to police to help solve hate crimes, which renders New Yorkers at mercy of the government for protection, which basically means she's given seventy five million dollars to the, to go on your social media, paying people to probably do that, because that would be considered pro mm -hmm. a top hate crime. The Concealed Carry Improvement Act. OK, sorry. I see this title. I read it wrong. They're saying that the like the concealed carry improvement act is putting the city's Jews in danger because they can't carry in churches. Right? Yeah. Didn't that get struck down? I thought, or no? it, I thought it got struck down. Still, absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. I'm not saying I don't care. The idea churches, of it that's ridiculous. They just can't get permits as easily, right? Because of the classes. In uh, true, and because of just New York, New York City's City. permitting process. Yeah. I want to see a, a modern day update on what they charge for classes in New York City. Do you remember when? The classes first came out. There were there were companies in New York City charging nine hundred bucks. Not, yeah, yeah. eight hundred bucks. Crazy. I wonder if that's gone down any. That is. But you gotta crazy. you gotta think about people that make money in the city. Their money is worth so much. Like that's true. Like McDonald's is like twice the price as it is like, here. Isn't yeah, it? like eight hundred bucks is probably a splash in the bucket to them. That's why they were charging it. So it might seem like crazy to us, but to them, like oh, eight hundred bucks, right? Oh. Well, That's a normal price. What's that like one subway ticket? Oh. <laughs> oh. I like my pizza thin. <laughs> a weird thing. I mean. Hot take, hot take, Tyler. Hot take. <laughs> New York City, it fucking pizza. <laughs> I like right, so, so yeah, that's that's a great. <laughs> so that's the thing. So that yeah. So, um, I'm just really happy the government is investing so much money into keeping me safe from hate crimes. Yeah, by investigating my social media. Yeah, did you know this? My friends, I knew all of like the no gun zones were under law, were placed for worship, casinos, bars, subways, and Times Square. Yeah, that was specifically very specifically out. Times Square. Right. Which who, 
who can carry there anyways? Again, like only New York I mean, City people. I mean, anyone. Because Wait, it's, you it's, can't. It's, it's, yeah, we it's, can't. Why can't we? They can't prove your, it, though. Your yeah. permit's not good in New York City. Still? I thought that was... It's never been good. I don't think it, I don't think that... I thought Bruins helped with that. Mm, I don't think so. Because all Bruin did was say, now it's a shall issue. We were a may yeah. issue. Now we're a shall issue. That was the major thing. It blows my mind. My New York State pistol permit is good for New York State, except for New York City. Mm-hmm. But yet, New York City just dis- like decides all of my politics. Well, I think their permits are good statewide, wouldn't they? Like a New York City permit, be good. I say they shouldn't, unless you get a, a premises only permit, which I think they it's, it's big over there too. If it's I can't up. carry in New York City, they can't carry in my state. Right. Right. Mm. One like so, equals one f you to New York City. A big, uh, <laughs> a big thing that's being pushed and i hate to use i hate to use sides us them left right but you know sometimes there are clear sides in these issues and one of the things that those in favor of gun control are pushing and apparently there's a federal judge that agrees yeah that the second amendment and we were talking about this before the stream here in the shop about how fucked we would be in New York. The Second Amendment, you have the right to keep and bear arms. Mm-hmm. They agree that's an individual right. You can own all the guns you want. Cool. There's nothing in there that says you have the right to, say, manufacture guns and sell them as part of commerce or engage in the business of being a gun dealer like we are, right? Right. Which, okay, I guess it doesn't say that in the law. So it's it's very scary. They really are trying, like, every avenue of attack, how they can just dismantle. Not, like, I hate to just say they're trying to dismantle our industry. They're trying to fundamentally take your rights away from you. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's really, like, insidious and, in, like, how they're – how they're going about it. Mm-hmm. And like the, they're agreeing like, Oh no, you, you have your constitutional rights. That's right. Yeah. You have that right to own a gun, own whatever you want, but then no one can manufacture them or deal in them or whatever. In New York, you legally right now can't even make your own gun. So how would that work? You can't have the, the only legal system in New York that's set up right now for you to, manufacture a gun you have to be a, a, an ffl which they're trying to take away from now there's a seven page article that uh that, that tyler printed out did you read it what's it say you printed that no uh, uh, no you, you pulled it up when you got back no way you, had to go I, you know how i can prove it because i fucking stapled my articles <laughs> these are my articles and i stapled them it's a truth about guns article you picked that up. <laughs> she was like, I'm... He's backing out. <laughs> the angry juice came out. Mom, Dad, no. Oh, no. So Judge Kane uh, in Colorado, I guess, is uh, the one that we should be mad at. Colorado, huh? Go, yeah. They, they weird. They're weird, man. They went from like one of the the most like staunch Second Amendment states within the past like 10, 15 years now, they're like and they legalized mushrooms. It's like California, New York, little, and then them. They're they're like super restricted. I think now. Their mag their mag capacity is strange too. It's like 15 is the maximum. It's very odd. Because that makes sense. Very, very odd. Uh so yeah, I mean, it just seems like every angle they're trying stuff. In fact, in Virginia, a lot of you might remember back in 2020 before everything went crazy i went down to virginia brought my little squirrel gun and they had a safe act style law that was that was going through the the system and over 20 the, the news says 20 to 25,000 i don't how, know how they estimate that but oh. supposedly 20 some thousand people myself included and my wife anna marched down there uh, at the Capitol and in Richmond and pretty much just voiced our disagreement in that law. And I just went to like show our support. I've always appreciated when other states show support for us in our struggle. So I just wanted to show that, Hey, like New York, we stand with you guys, like, and don't let what happened to us happen to you. Like, so I went down there, obviously it kind of turned into a thing. It wasn't my intention when I went down there, but that's what happened. Well, they are trying it again. Virginia, this is the, uh, the VA CDL, the Virginia Citizens Defense League, which I think is a sweet name. They have 
uh, a, a AR-15 and a magazine ban in place. It's pretty much the exact same bill that was trying to be put through in 2020. And it's, it's up again. So I don't know. Some people were sending me links that there's going to be a big protest again. I haven't heard in like the, the grander gun community that there's going to be like, not like it was before. I mean, you guys remember that was like the million man March. Like yeah. everyone, if you cared about guns, you were going to go there. And yep. another reason why we did. Uh, so I haven't heard that as much, but it's still early. It's in January, like January 15th. So we'll see. I'm not saying that I am going, I'm not going to say I'm not going to go either. That is a tough time of year. We're just coming back from, the Big Rock Show. We're going to be in Nashville for like four or five days. Yeah. Hopefully, I can make it this time. <laughs> this all tough. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drink this whole thing. Ah, uh, so we'll see. My wife's like pregnant too, so it's like, ugh. Mazel. Ugh. No, thank you. Last time I tried to go, Thanks. I had to get a new car. Yeah, Tyler. Do you want to tell that story? Shh. So, sure. Yeah. So there's, they're all planning to go. Like he really hated his re, his Jeep Renegade. Yeah. And he decided. <laughs> I don't know that like week before we went, we took it kind of seriously. We were planning like, okay, if anything does happen, we need to like know how to get back to the hotel quickly and safely mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. blah blah blah. So we had like maps printed out, and Darnell and I, we were we had, we worked a shift. It was a Saturday, yeah. so we're driving out eighty one south, and it, there's a snowstorm. So. Crazy driving. blizzard that night. Yeah, oh yeah, it was wild. Crazy blizzard. I don't know why we decided to drive. We had left, Ann and I had left at like, I don't know, four or five maybe. And yeah, like, we yeah. were like probably like eight or nine. Yeah. And yeah, we're, we're driving down 81 South and there's a bend. And on the bend, there is a black sedan perpendicular taking up both lanes. Jeez. And by the time I noticed, it was T-bone this chick going 55 miles per hour or like veer off. And I had a whole bunch of traffic behind me, so... I don't know how I did it. Just autopilot. I crashed into a pole and was almost impaled by the pole as it came through the, the roof of my car. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was wild. Nice, dude. Um, and then we had to call nice. the cops. There's like three feet of snow, it felt like. And like we had our plate carrier. We had our we had everything. Like we were ready to go to Virginia. Like yeah. <laughs> and like we were so scared. Luckily, the trooper was cool and didn't check any of the stuff we had out. <laughs> like didn't even just glance yeah. at the car. It's all would have taken. Like oh, it was a, life would have been over. But we had to go to a hotel, so like we don't want to leave all of our our stuff in the car. So Darnell and I go to this hotel. We had a really cool tow truck driver, and uh, we check into a hotel. Like we had like plate carriers, <laughs> rifle bags. Like we had, it was so funny. <laughs> oh my god! And th- was that in New York or PA? That was in New York. We was that still in we New York just yeah, before even, Binghamton. Yeah, Jeez. that's great. Yeah, and so me and Anna are down. Like by then, we probably made it to Richmond. Yeah, we're just like in our hotel. Which we had just like walked through the lobby with like our plate carriers and the Barrett in a Pelican case. Like I'm just wheeling a Pelican giant, like the, it's as big as this table, basically wheeling this giant Pelican case through the lobby up into the room. And so then, yeah, our story, basically, like we wake up that morning of the rally, we go down to the hotel and eat and breakfast. And you could see there were like, like the news camera, like the giant ones that are like a hundred grand or whatever. Like that dude was like eating breakfast in the hotel. And I was like, all right, well, this is going to be a pretty big deal. You could see there were 20, 30 news trucks spread out everywhere. And then we saw other people like eating like the hotel buffet breakfast, like all kitted out, like plate carriers, <laughs> fucking helmets, rifle Jeez. slung, getting their little scrambled eggs and everything. And I was like, all right, well, this is the mood. So we, we went back up to our room, put all of our shit on. And I was like, okay. And like, I'm literally, the Barrett's got that carry handle. And I'm just like, like walking to fucking work. I got my little Barrett on the carry handle. And we walk out the door and we just walk right out the hotel front door. And it was like two, maybe three blocks from the Capitol, like where everybody was rallying. And we just like turn that corner and we go down and you can see that there's like, wow, there's like five, 10,000 people here already. And like, we start getting up to the fringes I just, I didn't want to like keep pointing the rifle, like a briefcase, you know, at everybody. I'm like, all right, well, fucking, there we go. Like, hey, what's up? And it was just, just chaos from there. And then it gets to be like noon. And again, like no one, like no one could have said, I would love to have seen like the Las Vegas odds on what could have happened that day. Mm-hmm. Right. 
So we had like I had like a backpack full of like medical shit, and I had like yeah. I mean, it's just the, the the you can definitely tell when the photos were taken because in the morning I had a backpack on and it was super cold, so I had all the, I was all bundled up. I had this stupid beanie hat on over my helmet or under my helmet, so it looked super weird, and like my helmet wouldn't sit on my head right. Like, I was all I was a fucking soup sandwich, and so then it got to be like noon. And I was like, I'm fucking dead. Like, this is so fucking bullshit. Like, eh. so I was like, let's just, we're two blocks. Let's go back to the hotel. We don't need, I don't need this backpack. Like nothing's going to happen. Like let's ditch all the stuff we don't need. We can come back. So I like, I get back to that hotel room and I was fucking butt naked within like 10 seconds. Like I just fucking plate carrier off, like shirt off, like everything just off. And I'm just fucking sitting there. That's a mental and we yeah, Enjoy that. <laughs> I'm just fucking sitting there. And we're eating food, <laughs> eating food, and my phone is just blowing up. Yeah. Like, you guys are calling me, yeah. and just social media, and it's just going nuts. And I'm like, wow, that was, that was fun. Like, that was cool. And Anna's like, the fuck do you mean? Like, you got to get back out there, champ. She's giving me, like, fucking, like, yeah. halftime, like, <laughs> <laughs> like the coach cheering, <laughs> cheering me on. That's it. That, and that's all. That was all. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I was like, the only like clothes that I have are like, they're all, they're so wet and like, gro- like from being from sweating through them. I was just like, uh, you know, that feeling of like putting your wet, yep, gross yep. gear back on. I was just like, oh, I had to go back out there. So yeah, went back out there for like, I don't know, three or four more hours till it wound down. And yeah, then the rest is kind of, kind of history, I guess. But I, I don't know. I am, I am torn on going the next year. It turned into a big, um, a rob, huge, a rally, like, a much weird, more weird. political. Yeah, very, very Chicago, political. Chicago yeah, 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 yeah. But you like, you love Trump. It just wasn't my scene necessarily where I would drive 10, 12 hours to go to go down there for that. But I don't know. This year, I don't, I don't want to go to make it seem like I'm trying to like cash in yeah. or like you know I had my 15 minutes of fame. Now I want 16. 30. Like yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like I, I want to go to be pure. And support Virginia. So at the end of the day, like that matters so much. I hate to see another. I hate to see a free state fall to the way our state's fallen. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, what do we got over there? There's got to be. I see some. I see some comments. Read some out. James says there's no mental image needed. Brandon and you shared a, a room. <laughs> that is true. Me and James have shared a room together. Joe and I have shared rooms together. Multiple, multiple times. Multiple. <laughs> Joe likes my driving. I hate it. He's, <laughs> I hate it so much. I he ended up driving the rest of the way to Milwaukee. I just <laughs> he will his body he'll look, but his whole body will look as he's holding the steering wheel. And I'm like, here we go. This is it. This is happening. Oh, like, oh squirrel, Joe! Look, there's a guy on the side of the road. Yeah, I know. We're gonna be next to him. He's gonna. <laughs> it's the stop and go. He likes to drive with two feet. I think. I don't. I I do really well. Yes, you, yes, you do. I do really well. How many cars have you gone through? <laughs> well, hold on. Because if we're going to do that, I, 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 yeah. If it's a, what? Hold, I was with wait, you. What? I was, I was literally being on your side with it. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck myself. <laughs> what else? Read more comments. People say things. You can also pull no, up. Your no, phone. I can't. That one's really long. What's the long one say? Shut up. I got a mini comments. Oh my god! Something Clomets. about buy my T-shirt that says the firing pin. Oh. oh, look at this T-shirt. Mostly peaceful. This is the equivalent of fuck around and find out, but you don't want to have fuck on your shirt. Well, that's the case then. <laughs> Black triangle. <laughs> Black triangle, which we know you're watching, sponsor us. Yeah, but we sell this on our merch. I don't want to dox who it was. I don't want to make her feel bad, but it was so funny when. Don't want to say it. <laughs> Jane Doe. So Jane Doe said this it. lady came in. Super. Uh, she was amazing. She came in though and she showed us her sweater. She was like super happy about her sweater and it was a knockoff. <laughs> it was a fake yeah. firing pin oh. sweater from one of our Oh, look, like, we actually saw it like in person yeah. live. Yeah, she was like showing it to us and I was like we've never sold that. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Did it look good? No, oh. it did not. <laughs> I mean, I, I shouldn't say that. It was it was like a black hoodie and then it was like almost like a dark green like the, the, the font whatever. Our, our logo, so yeah. it was like very subdued like it did kind of look cool if it were a light color hoodie it'd look better yeah i definitely like if i would have made that i definitely wouldn't have had that color option with that print right but it was just like yeah that's but that's, she but she got her product 
She did get so, it. Yeah. I'm, so I was surprised. That. <laughs> Can't be upset by that. Does that wait? Does that mean we've <laughs> we've peaked the bodega of, Lu- we... of Louis Vuitton <laughs> yes. and Coach and everything? We do. Uh, <laughs> you you got to be careful. We will never. Like, we're never going to leave a comment like, hey, you won. Go to this link and fucking pay whatever. Like, no. Except for the one time that we do that, and we're like, nope, you told me that. Too. <laughs> Typically, if you're going to win something, up. it's going to be on our live stream. Like, tonight, we're doing the giveaway. And it's Donna, so it doesn't, yeah. even, <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Did anyone read the fine print? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Donna said I think she read it, too. Yeah, <laughs> That's great. If Donna does win tonight, we have to give another one. Donna, we love you, and we really appreciate that you support us so much. Yeah, absolutely. But how do you win everything? It makes us look bad. You, if anything, you're drawing her name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's your company. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Michael, a loyal friend. Michael needs to start winning some stuff. He, should, Mikey, he, should uh, he says, this is early in the stream. Hey, fellas, saw the building update and we're very excited. Me too. Yes. Here, here I forgot to blast that out. I'm also very excited. I'm so excited to get out of that small... I don't know, man. I'm getting used to it. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. The bonding, yeah. We're going to miss it. Like I said before, when when we get the new space, we're going to have that same size (laughs) in the new building, (laughs) and everything else is going to be a warehouse. (laughs) The news, you're going to be like, Ty! Ty, you you over there? Now we actually, when someone calls and asks for the firearms department, we can say, hold on one second, and just scream (laughs) to get Tony out of the back room. I'm going to enjoy having plumbing. I don't That's know, man. Nice. Something about pooping outdoors in the cold just yeah, really gets me going. Makes my asshole feel great. <laughs> well, it's numb, so <laughs> it goes numb instantly. It's like Bing. twenty degrees out here. The other day when it was snowing, it was snowing like in inside. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm <laughs> sitting there. I'm like, it's like God oh. damn it. It's just <laughs> send also, us to plumbing. Constru- also, construction workers. They really do destroy the oh. <laughs> I went in and I'm like, God, what oh. the f- who, yeah. who did this? What, did this? what <laughs> rhinoceros just sat down and just popped a squat? <laughs> the first time we built, our Porta John was out oh. closer to the road. The truck drivers truck Yeah, driving. and we didn't we didn't have any of those containers to like hide it behind. So literally every day, at least one or two semi drivers would just park their rig right on the side of the road and be like, oh, we're getting delivery. Nope. We yeah well yeah this is poop <laughs> our porta john I'm like your shooters full fat dudes and it's funny because some of those guys still come and then they'll just use our normal bathroom like at least once a month they'll be just like you know I'll pull in and there's a random semi like pull over in the road and I'm always like we have room for them to pull in it's not that yeah. hard if, you, if we have a delivery and I'm like oh well at least delivering least, something and he's like mm, not quite. I deposited something. You do what I mean. <laughs> just leave a nickel. If you're going to do it, just be courteous and leave a nickel. With the big I word we can't say today, at least maybe like a dime. We need to come up with a um, like hall pass key Ooh. for someone to walk around. Like a, there you go. Something ridiculous. It's like attached to this thing. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Just a key. Use that key. This thing. <laughs> oh. oh. That'd be it. Oh, we do those photos of the explosion. The church. Oh, my God. <laughs> Say more nice things. I'm like a high school girl. <laughs> <laughs> Say it back. Say nice things about me on Instagram, please. You're really good at that voice. Yeah, it's voice acting. <laughs> Somewhat of a voice actor myself. If you ever need a, if you ever need an ad read, let me Classically know. Classically trained. Suck. Fifth Circuit. Huh? I didn't know about that. Did you know about that? I don't like the circus. I well, Andy Circus. Free the elephants. <laughs> Free the elephants. First of all, I haven't seen that brace. Yeah, since that. Sig came out with it. Gross. This is great content. Read comments. Okay, well, the next comment's going to spark a conversation. Are you okay with it? Or are we going to read a... Do it. Okay. Read it. Our friend Jared asks, Shadow Systems versus Glock. Ooh. Shadow Systems. Don't even look back. Yeah. Don't Shadow do Systems. If you buy yeah. a Glock, you're going to put all the stuff into it, and it's going to become a Shadow Systems. Just do it. Do it right I, the first time. I am one of those, like... The guys make fun of me. Here we I'm, go. I'm anti. Get a, get like, I'm anti. Block. I'm anti. Hollow Sun. I'm anti. Damn, we're Olight. What? Right? What? You Sorry. guys have a problem. Not I anymore. Am, God. <laughs> I am generally the one who says like the legacy product is great, and like I'm not saying a Glock is bad. There's no way you could say that a Glock is bad. When you look at those two choices, though, like this guy said. The Shadow Systems is a Glock. It's the Glock design. There's, there's, there's no, you know what I mean? Like that's what it is, uh, and and they just work. 
I was very skeptical at first thinking, you know, we'd have problems with them here and there, like any gun does, but it's a mechanical I mean, item. It's yeah, it's I mean, I'm sure there have been some issues, but man, I mean, we've had Glocks with issues. So yeah. uh, the pig nose. Uh, I am. I'm very impressed with the shadow systems. Whose foot is this? <laughs> <laughs> Michael. <laughs> nice. I'm a shadow systems guy. Michael. Yeah. After Brandon was talking about all that, there is a shadow systems in his safe right now with his name on it. There is. I promise you. Yeah, there is. I guess I was saying, like, I was setting it up. The background is, yeah, I am kind of a FUD when it comes to that stuff. Like, no, I'm going to run my Surefire because it's a Surefire. I'm going to well, run my Neotech. Sure. The Neotech. Which we know you're watching. Sponsor us. You know, yeah. <laughs> uh, At least I need a new flashlight. But shadow systems, man, they they got me. Um, so if you're going to upgrade everything from a Glock... Instead of having you do the work and I don't know, every time I upgrade something, I always get scared that when I need to use it, it's not going to work properly. Just this is in the back of my mind. Yeah. So I prefer when the factory does it. And that's what's mm -hmm. nice about shadow systems is you're having their factory literally do everything from the ground up based on their stuff. And it's just a Glock upgraded heavily. And I like their warranty program where if you use it, they'll like while, while the gun that they take the gun where they like mm -hmm. investigate the the use they'll give you a new one you know what you should do Mike? pretty cool instead of us telling you you should come and use our rental program yeah try it out for yourself yeah, both <gasps> you can do that yeah um yeah cr 920p it's really cool i guess it all depends on what you want to carry do they have i don't think they do shadow system doesn't have anything like the 48s or the 43x's do they the cr 920 is kind of a 43 it's still a double yeah. stack though isn't it Stack and a half. They took Was it so a stack and a half. Their CR920 yeah. is their 43 that they made into a 43X. So it's okay. the 43 body, but it takes yeah. a 43X magazine, so it sticks out. So they do. So yeah. and they, there's really no reason to not get. And then Glock said the shadow system. Glock said shit. <laughs> and they made the 49. Well, yeah. Glock, like we were all asking for the Glock long slide 19. Really gone heavily into the horse semen. Uh, yeah. Horse yeah. Yes. semen market. Has yes. anybody bought horse cum from Glock? What's that? Has anybody bought Glock horse cum? I. <laughs> I've been meaning to. Yeah, I'm sure you have. <laughs> My freezer's a little bit low. I need. When you go, <laughs> when you go, that's never been an issue. <laughs> when You're you right, go, it's the fridge we gotta work. When you go it's on the, the website, it's the stuff to be used. It's <laughs> if the freezer dies someday. That's when. <laughs> if we ever lose power for longer than six hours, I'm just like, not home. <laughs> <laughs> look up, making dumb. Look up, look up the website, and tell me if you would. Give them money. Like Glock I am all about spending some money on a joke and a meme. <laughs> Is it Glock or Gaston? Like, how do you search it? Yeah. Can you pull it up? The website's so the literally it's like it? orderseaman.eu. It's like the sketchiest. Yeah. And it just it doesn't look like a website that I want to give money to. I think I found it. Uh, Joe, I'm going to drop it to you in chat if you didn't find it. <laughs> we'll pull it up so all of our friends watch what it. I, what so I wanted to do, what Glock? I wanted to do was see how much that is. See how much it is to like get, oh. a, get a horse made. Like, how much to take that cum and put it in a horse? Thanks, Mike. Have because of you, we've segued into <laughs> the absolute <laughs> viewership is rising. I bet <laughs> it's going down. Actually. <laughs> if it's Glock perfection, is this spunk superiority? Like, what the we real fanboy collects call? everything, uh, all products. <laughs> I got the field knife. Just lubricating your Glock with horse cum. <laughs> I would love. Didn't they used to make like shower curtains and stuff? I'd love to buy some old of, of, like, of Glock. <laughs> what? Are you no, about? Glock used to make. Oh yeah, all yeah, sorts yeah. Of no, stuff. they had so much. It'd be cool to have like here's an old like shower shower curtain oh, rings shit. and like all sorts of stuff. All right, all right, all right, Joe. They have a whole PDF. They have a whole PDF. I'm sending it to you in chat. Let's see if you can pull it what up. What are the horses' names? Are they like perfection? Um, <laughs> sea biscuit. <laughs> and that's, that's it. That's all. Confidence. I want. They, have Confidence. A, they have a Glock Horse Performance Center. Performance. <laughs> look, at, look at that stallion on the front. Like, yes. That's, <laughs> that's a good looking horse. Look at the back of him. <laughs> look at those glamour <laughs> shots. Okay, so not to get too like technical, when you collect. Uh, the sample, do you think Glock makes like that thing too and like the receptacle? If it's made out of polymer, they made it. It's the perfection system, right? Question for you do you think it has finger grooves or no finger <laughs> <laughs> What generation is it? 
Uh, imagine being rich enough that you have a guy that jacks off your horses. <laughs> That would just hire you. Perfection. Imagine, well, yeah. <laughs> imagine being the guy that you don't know sets his profession. <laughs> this, is, this, this is a weird co- go catalog. Go to college for that? Probably, honestly. Horse, horse I mean, you have to, right? <laughs> Are you able to get it? I could probably. I'll just give you my credit card. Just. I thought you. What's can the we, can we not picture in picture easily with StreamYard? What's the least amount of milliliters we could buy? It's tough. What's like the minimum order quantity? Probably gallons. Like I don't think you get that. You have to call. Five gallon. Bucket. You have to call to get orders. <laughs> orders. <Just> orders. <laughs> place daily nine thirty a.m. International orders must be placed the day prior. <laughs> It's horse come that much. Is it like, are there that much stakes? Like, you've got to get your order in before 5 p.m. or your comes out ship it out. <laughs> Sorry. I love that it's all in Glock font. It's all like, yeah, like if, I, if I were to go to Glock's <laughs> website. Your manual, it's the same. Yeah, it's That's the great. S- <laughs> Do you think they have the same warranty card? Like, <laughs> yeah, you have to fill it out. So <laughs> you've used, you've used this before. Store correct? it before 40 degrees. You're going to open the envelope. You have to, open the <laughs> you have to like, initial everything. Show me how to disassemble You keep the white right copy. Now. Canary copy goes to us. <laughs> is it canaries are like off? Like, oh, the, uh, yeah. you're fine. <laughs> you know, it's how you it's color. It. Yeah. On, you know. on the link you dropped on <sighs> this, the one, the gray web page. Yeah. So there's the links. It's stallion catalog and then conditions and look at the website below that order semen.com so didn't they tell you what it is com. yeah <laughs> does not sound like a real website <laughs> Sir, how much did that serve a best selling in new yeah what they spend for that yeah, what that domain cost <laughs> it's just order semen 20 grand dot <laughs> nu oh okay that was a that was a that's not the real okay what what do they call it again when that's like the website you click, but the it's a page. Like, no, no. Yeah, it's it's real. Click on the ink, click on the Great Britain flag. Because so then it takes me to Sir. No, no. At the top of the web page, click on the Great British flag, so it goes to English. The website is what it says it is. It takes me to Sperma Best Selling. Click on, on, on you. Click on oh, there you go. Click on that. Oh, is that a different language website? Orderseaman.com. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sperm Bagankin does you sperm of best selling does in you. I mean <laughs> someone asked someone asked another question. So what question. happened during the stream? I'll, I'll email Florian. I'll have him go check this out. It's this is right up his alley. Uh, oh my god. Now what <laughs> where how did we get here? Michael says the laptop's getting a virus side for sure. <laughs> This man, Never, just wa- this man just want to know if shadow systems or Glock. Is <laughs> so how we got <laughs> Glock comes. You know what? Just <laughs> you buy horse semen from shadow systems? No. So put that in Glock's column. Shadow systems check. If shadow systems sold semen, I think it'd be a little sketchy. Like it's it sounds sketchy. <laughs> shadow systems semen. Let's stop. Let's just stop talking. <laughs> so the new firing pin will you have at least you even tried yours yet. how many square feet dedicated? Won't you? I want to see. <laughs> All right. Next question. All right. Yep. That's enough semen talk for one night. I think the firing pin would be a good name for a sperm bank. Don't you? I think we could make that work. <laughs> <laughs> the firing pin. The frying pin. Okay. Yeah, we've got the frying, the frying pan. pan. <laughs> yeah, nobody can open a restaurant in this region called the frying pan. That's ours. We will own it. Yeah. I put it in a the letter fa- and I to myself. The fat pin. The fat pin. There the you fa- go. Fa- the fat pin. Oh, the fat pin. The fat pin. Like the the fat pin. Yeah, the stumbling bus. The fat pin. You're welcome, America. All right. So we know what that flex space is going to be in the back. Are we going to Hamburg in February? What is that? First of all, Hamburg is. First of all, who? Who asked that question? Kevin. Who asked that question? Ryan. Okay. I was going to say your buddy. Probably, probably not. Honestly, like. He's watching. It just. The market, man. The market. We got to see how it's going to happen. It's still so uncertain right now. The, the, the beauty of a gun show 
was you would set everything up and a guy would walk in and he would say, I would like to buy that because I came here with the purpose of buying stuff. And then they would buy it and then they would leave with it. And then that was, that would be it. And sure. Like, okay. Yeah. You got to do a background check on a gun. It takes 10 minutes, 15 minutes, no big deal. And a gun, it's worth it. You do my ammo now. It's just, it's just, ah, yeah. I don't know. We're going to wait. I'll, gonna wait. I'll be there personally. So if you, yeah, if you still wear a fire around. and a t-shirt, I'll have a bunch of stickers in my pockets. I am torn. I might go to get like a table just to be there to hand out stickers and stuff. Yeah. But it's talk about it's a lot. Like <laughs> <laughs> little samples, little like toothpicks. Toothpick? It is tough. It, d- d- yes. <laughs> just like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> I don't want to bring us back too deep into that conversation, but Lee says if you build it, they will come. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> all right. I had to, I had to read right. that. First of all, all who right. said that? Because that's incredible. <laughs> well, about name, name another sperm bank in this region. I can't. <laughs> Bro, I don't know. It's any. so hard to sell your body here. You can sell like plasma and stuff, but you can't. What do you say? You say it like that. So what else are you doing? If you're selling plasma. You go buy a lab. It's not that hard. That's easy, but like. <laughs> what's the greatest place ever? The firing pin. Oh. <laughs> That would be a fun sponsor. They they sponsor Freedom Weekend. Yeah. Yeah. You know who you are. You you know who you are. <laughs> Where Ty goes every Friday night. No. <laughs> that one Friday night. It was Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry, I have to catch up on comments. I was just laughing too hard about Glock. I got more news. Yeah, do that. You want some news? <laughs> So, Rust, remember that movie? The game. API, that's what I use for that. (laughs) So, Alec Baldwin, right? There was that film production back uh, last year, right? And there was a crazy, I hate to even use the word accident, because that goes so far beyond an accident. Uh, it was ne- negligent. It really, yeah, it, it really just, it was, was on, on that, like everybody, everyone, the prop yeah. master, yeah. I would say mostly. Yep. Right. Yeah. So, and it says in here that they loaded that thing with four or five, what was it? Five, five blanks and one live round. Jesus Christ. Why? Jesus why? Christ. First of all, why are there even live rounds on the set? Yeah. You know, like yeah. I get it. I mean, you look at like Keanu Reeves, he goes over to Ter- Terran tactical, right? Mm-hmm. He shoots a ton, like he gets ready for the John Wick movies and stuff, and like that's cool. But then, like when you get to set, how are they not like? That's their job. Where's the so, sa- yeah? Where's the safety anyways, team? Where's it? Because of that, Hollywood basically now, uh, it, it pretty much is not going to be using real firearms. Like any any movies moving forward, they're going to be like those resin guns. Mm-hmm. They're going to be airsoft guns. They're going to be propane or like gas if they really need it to like function green gas right yeah 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 yeah. uh they and this is coming from which sucks is how a lot of things work this is coming from the insurance industry so like no new movies are being insured if they have real guns on set at all so it's one of those things i mean does that really matter a lot of people would say no but again it's just showing that like 99.9999% 99.9999% of us speaking as gun owners can be safe. Those prop masters can do their job, right? Everybody can be fine. Everybody can go home safely. Mm-hmm. Then you have one accident and now the whole industry has to change. Yeah. Like for this one accident. I mean, can I, can I just pull a thread and talk uh, without really having an opinion on what I'm about to say? Because Hollywood is so against gun ownership. They're typically, you know, mm-hmm. skew towards not mm-hmm. gun. Should we just not allow movies that have gun use? Like John Wick shouldn't exist because it is very hypocritical. It is very hypocritical. Whenever there's been those mass shootings and the celebrities, you know, they do those videos where it's like we all need to do our part and mm-hmm. one more person, and it's like John Wick, pop, Brad Pitt, pop, and Angelina Jolie, yeah, yeah, which is like, have you ever seen any Miss, of their movies? Mr. Like, Mrs. yeah, Smith, like yeah. how have they made? Like, okay then give back every dollar you've made from any movie with a gun in it that was part of the plot. Like I, I don't, uh, yeah, I, I, I see, I don't know. This is just another one of those 
death by a thousand cuts, you mm-hmm. know, like now there's no real guns in Hollywood. Then it's like, do we really even need guns at all? And it's going to be, it's just going to keep, yeah. you know, guns are bad. Uh, okay. Now, obviously if you have a small or a big studio, I mean, if you're a, if you're Elon Musk, he wants to open up a film studio, insures himself, you know what I mean? Like takes the gamble and does whatever. Well, that's you know, exactly. not, it's not like there's what, a law. What happens if there's a director says, you know what? No insurance. And Tom Cruise says, all right. All right. <laughs> yeah. uh, you it, it is just crazy that. that uh, it's a nice tea. It's a, no, it's all that. It smells like I green don't know, tea. I don't know what iced tea you're smelling, buddy. It yeah. smells like green tea. It smells like an Arizona green tea. Tastes like it, too. All right, so we're going to do a stroke test. <laughs> Back to Glock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got any fun comments? <laughs> yes. We have stuff to show. We have some cool fire. Oh, okay. yeah. Send it. Oh, there's the start tab. That's how you make it easier to see. We star stuff that's cool. So we know how to break it down. Not that everything you guys say is cool, but like stuff to like talk about. We saw. Are you, you going to break out those? So we're talking about comments. <laughs> Give me something. <laughs> I guess to talk that answered that. Give me something to talk about. We're talking about this. All right. Ooh. If we're going to clip this for YouTube, let's remove all of the inflammatory stuff first of all. <sighs> we're drinking apple juice. Those screens for that for time form for you. I saw Ben today. He goes, uh, 10 millimeter is just European 45. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Who is this? Who's Ben? No, nah, sorry. They're not supposed to acknowledge that he exists. Wow. Is he just. Yeah, you're really not supposed right, to I'm going to head out. <laughs> He exists. He's a real person. Just doxed a whole man. All right. So we have the new SIG X10 Compact, which they what? just came out with the new SIG X10 Endure, which we do have coming, oh. where they took the full size X10 and oh. then they topographic the slide and mwah, chef mwah. kissed it. <laughs> chef's kiss. So everyone's been asking for a new compact 10 mil. I know I have. Mm-hmm. Everyone. Everyone. The so down. SIG did the carry version which i still consider a compact mm-hmm. where they magnaported the top of it beefed up the slide which tells me that with how light the slide was before there may have been some problem with cracking like there was in the glock 20s and the 40s and i believe they did it in the 29 they beefed it up as well Imagine the poor guy that's got to test that. Yeah. Put 20,000 rounds through it. My fingies. See if it, see my, it cracks. My fingies. <laughs> so this is going to be our, um, is, it is currently our new it's rental. Right. We have the new Romeo X on it, which is, again, mwah, chef's kiss. Um, I really like it because of how good it feels in the hand. Flat trigger, just like you're going to get out of any X. The ergonomic grip, just like you get out of an X. The extended beaver tail. Optics cut, which co-witnesses perfectly with the new Romeo X that you have there. And I don't think it does really well with the old X10 uh, holsters. I think with just hmm. how thick it is on the slide, it's just I ever think, so slightly too I thick. I think the X10 was also that. Do you, th- was it? We have one in the shop somewhere. Maybe because it's so much smaller it, that it, it feels lighter. a little bit they different look, in my hand. I think that's, I think that's the same way. TBD, we'll figure it out for you. But you should come try it. Super, super cool. If you're in a free state, 15 rounds of 10 mil. If you're not a free state, 10 rounds of 10 mil, um, which just sounds cool to say 10 of 10. Yeah, 10, 10. Ben 10. The Bren 10? No, Ben 10. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> um, sure come and try it out. We can get these still. Um, the new Endure is going to be on our rental wall as well for the rental fleet, I guess we can call it. So if you want to have a really cool – Glock 19, even Glock 45-esque setup in 10 mil. Come and try it out today. Or tomorrow. Preferably. Yeah, please don't come I mean, today. try it out today. Why not? I mean, you don't know when you're watching this video. It could be today. <laughs> we're, all, we're all podcasts. Can we watch? You heard it here first. Or second. He heard said it wine. second. We're all podcasts. Can be watched. Oh, okay. That's a weird Hey, Brandon. Yeah. Quick question. Sure. 
Are there any spots available in the New York State Pistol Safety Class on 128th Codex Center? Also, when will the second half of the class be? Thank that's, you. That's great. Two great questions. So, yeah, we've got some some uh, some prints up. I don't know if you can tell what that is behind the kind of guys over here. That's the uh, the parking parking map for Kodak. Um, yeah, we're doing a giant pistol safety course in January, January 28th at the Kodak Center, like the Kodak Center on Ridge Road. Um, we kind of, it's, it's, this started as a, almost like an experiment. Like, could we book a major venue to do a gun event, right? Uh, not a gun show, which is a little bit, you know, it's like its own thing which is hard to find a venue to do those too, but we wanted to do a safety class. We wanted to make it as affordable as we could. And we wanted to get as many people in the community as we could. And I wanted it like as downtown as possible. So Kodak center, January 28th, we've got plenty of seats left. They are starting to fill. I will admit like we're, we're, mm -hmm. we have more people signed up now than I thought we would at this point, which is awesome. There are, only 2000 seats available, which sounds like a lot, but uh, like I said, we've already started to, uh, to get some traction in there and get some, get some of those seats filled. The front row is already filled. Let's say that for front, 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 couple, rows rows. Full. front couple rows. Balcony already is full. full. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, uh, so this class, you're going to see some billboards up around town. You may have seen them already. They're going to call this class free, which I stand by. We are giving you a ton of information and that information is free. I need to make sure that you're going to show up. And if you're going to be there all day, you got to eat. So we're asking you to buy lunch basically. Right? So the class costs 15 bucks. You're buying lunch and you're getting a free eight hours worth of training. Right? And you can come to that class, hang out with us for the day, learn a ton uh, and, and go on your way and, and, Everybody will be cool with that. It'll be awesome. You'll have a great time. You'll learn a lot. If you are interested in getting your pistol permit, this eight hours of training counts towards the New York State required 18 hours of training. So you can come and take this class on January 28th. It knocks out a lot of the, I'll call it classroom side of the class. And then you can come in any of our classes scheduled later in 2024 we're going to have 20 or 30 of these classes scheduled throughout the rest of the year. And that's when you'll come in and do the second half of the course, which is all the gun specific stuff. We can't have 2000 people or even a thousand or even 500 or even hundred people mm. in a class that size handling firearms. So then you'll be into classes of like 20, 30, 40 people handling the firearms, finishing the rest of the required 18 hours of training. And if you come on January 28th, and if you come to parts two and three, you will get your New York State pistol permit for a total of two hundred dollars, two fifteen technically with lunch that one day, right? So our normal price is three ninety nine. That's just that's... for classes. You still have to pay the county fees. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, very good point, Tyler. So your class, you'll get your education, the eighteen hour class requirement complete for two fifteen ninety nine. Call it. Um, our normal class and most of the other classes in the region cost about four hundred bucks. Uh, and you know, that class is great. We actually have one coming up on the 16th, don't we? In 17th. 16th, yep. 16th, 17th. So that's, I that's mean, you get it done. This year. You get that done in one weekend, one shot, one opportunity. Right. And you're just, you're done. Right. That's our full class. We have to charge that. We've got overhead. We've got instructors to pay for blah, blah, blah. We were able to make the Kodak class so affordable because we're hopefully teaching it to 2000 people at once in a giant venue that helps bring the class cost down. Right. So, so send this to your mothers. So hopefully there are some links in the comments below so you where you could sign up for the initial, the January um, 28th class. And then there are also a link when you sign up for that class where you can sign up for the full 199 class. Right. How do people sign up for this class? Uh, right on our website. So you go to nytfp.com. The boys will drop a link directly to the class in the comments, hopefully. But if you go to nytfp.com, on our homepage, a, a pop-up will pop. And it'll have the class billboard, like the billboard that you see on the 490. You click on that, and it'll go for you to sign up. So I think this is a great opportunity. And I'm, I'm, I, feel, I feel remiss. Rafa, 
our beloved partners, Rafa, they are helping us teach this class. They have obviously a, a wealth of knowledge on, you know, perspectives that we don't have. They, they have unique experiences that they're going to, they're going to talk about. They're going to bring to the table uh, just a really beneficial aspect, I think of the training cadre for this class. I'm really excited about that that collaboration. Yeah. So um, super excited for that. It's on January 28th. It's going to be all day, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's at the Kodak center. So tell your friends, your grandmothers. Yeah. Tell them, tell tell them all. And you know, I mean, this class, obviously, tell them we say, hey, you know, the ultimate goal would be to get your pistol permit, but we've had a lot of people that already have their permit that might want to take this course because this is going to go over all of the new laws, all the changes. What do you do when you're pulled over? Yeah. Let me How ask you a question real quick. Do you have to tell a law enforcement officer that you have a firearm if you get pulled over? Leave it in the comments below. Let's hear everybody's guess. That's going to be answered in the class. Legally in New York. Are you required when you get pulled over? to inform yeah we're not telling you stuff stuff like that uh what happens when you use your firearm like okay you've got your pistol permit you're carrying your gun some time goes by and you end up using it you take someone's life what is going to happen to you in new york all these things there's eight hours worth of training in this class that we feel is invaluable to any gun owner even so, if you have your concealed carry permit exactly yeah, yeah. 15 or bucks. Kids. if yeah. you've got kids in the honestly house, yeah make it a fa- make it a family trip for real just, if you've just, got kids, everyone if- needs to know this regardless oh. of if you want to get the permit or not it's just good to have mm-hmm. it's literally 15 dollars. if you own firearms and you're getting in fed. your house and you have children <laughs> and it's in kodak center who doesn't want to be there yeah, it's a cool place i'm just pumping out of like a room that uh one of our customers wives uh works as a really cool scientist there Really? And the Kodak that's yeah, cool. Cody's wife is a. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yeah, super uh, cool. Yeah. It's neat that they're, they're still like they're still working over there. They're still like yeah, it's still happening. Kodak it's still, still exists. Still, like yeah, there's there. not forty thousand people over there, but like they're no, still doing. No, stuff but it's still like there, yeah. You ever watch the Smarter Every Day YouTube channel? Yeah, over pretty now. pretty interesting guy. Going He's to. got some. Yeah, he did like a two or three part like multi multi-hour videos of Kodak of Kodak yeah wow. of like here's how film is made and he's got like dudes that live like in Greece like te- like it's some neighbor so cool. like telling you like oh yeah like this is how the machine works and it's it's really neat like it's it's very interesting that it's still like yeah it's not what it should be what it was but it's still alive over there mm-hmm. it's still still working Super cool mm-hmm. I think the coolest thing about Rochester is the fireworks uh, factory that was that burnt down during World War II. Did you hear about that? No. no. In Fairport, you might know about it because you passed it. The fire, the fireworks factory. So there's okay. Kind of new to Fairport. It happened after 1995. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> there was a tragedy <laughs> a stamp in, in World War II cents. where we would make a fireworks factory made flares for the Navy, and it, like fireworks factories do, exploded. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. During the war, or like when? During World War II. Yeah, 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 it happened wow. during World War II, but they have like there's actual letter. If you go to that factory or the uh, museum in Rochester, right off of this university, there's like a little museum there. There is a there is a small yeah we have a, a it's very military cool. history museum. Just cool, in Rochester, cool. Yeah. segue, but it's just Rochester has got so much cool history that I take for granted. Yeah, because we see it every day. So like, oh, yeah. it's not a big deal. But Kodak, fucking bad ass. Who can name the World War II service rifle that was made? I'm longer in, no, in the. God. In the comments. Well, in the comments, yeah. Who can who can name and who made it? Who made a World War II service rifle here in Rochester? The Liberator. Yes, you can shoulder the Liberator. <laughs> the, the Gatling gun. What was the? Didn't we? Didn't you just ask for comments in the? What was the thing you brought up? And we told people to leave it below. Circle. And we didn't leave. It, we didn't circle back to it. I have no idea. P.S. You brought it up. He asked to debate gun slash shooter slash more movie. Sicario, Patriot, Wick, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I'm going to go with Patriot every day. I've never seen the Wick series. You only watch My Little Pony. (laughs) My Little Pony. Really? You've never seen a single Wick movie? Never seen any. Never seen John Wick at all. A single one. One, two, or three. No. Or four. I four. four. JW Ford. Let me summarize it for you. Where would I start? The first one. <laughs> I've never seen Sicario, and I know that's an absolute slap in the face. <laughs> Out of that list, I would say Mr. And Mrs. Smith. 
that one, I like Be- that one. Because, because of... I like the kitchen scene. Yeah. She just got like... Yeah, everything. She like... Burr, 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 and it like flips around. And like her oven is just like an armory. The best part is like they call each other after they fight. He's like, hey, how was your day? Yeah, that was like, good. That's that's like so relatable in every relationship. <laughs> like Super passive aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just try to kill each other, shoot each other. Yeah, so relatable. Love you, hon. <laughs> Wow, we, we segued a lot. So All right. He doesn't let me talk about it. We, went, we, we straight up talked about Orscom for <laughs> minutes. <laughs> minute and a half. You want a clippable you sections, there's your clip. clip Yo, that. you joke, but I'm going to clip the horse cum. Good. <laughs> you will see clips about horse semen from Glock. <laughs> I'm getting some. I'm going to buy some. I'm sure you will. You're did probably going to drink it, too. Did, did, okay. What kind of backstraps are Did those? you know in... The guys on Jackass did it. Okay, Watch I was about to talk about that. that in Jackass? Which Which one? That was three. In Jackass 3, they weren't allowed to show. You had to watch the unrated version to watch him drink the horse semen. Yes. Because it was yep. considered porn if he drank. Really? Like they, they had to blur it out. Hmm. Was that the horse or was that the uh, the boar? That was boar. It was a horse. They they took the the horse penis and put it into a fake horse vagina. And then he, uh, I do remember. Yeah. I like the, uh, I think it was the, was the four, the latest one. They're, no. just, they're just doing like interviews and they just dump like five yeah. pick, pick, pick they come just, everywhere. There's the one where like a little drop like goes in his mouth and he's like Bloop. <laughs> 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 they slow mo like just a little glob of cum just <laughs> they they did a prank on Johnny Knoxville where they they took his lotion because he yes, has like they put it in like, yes, yeah they put like so semen yeah. <laughs> for months he was just using horse semen like as lotion. they told him like at the premiere yeah he's like yeah, sitting in the <laughs> yeah <laughs> Really wow. awkward when Jackass 3 came out. My mom and I got, like, we had, like, a sick day, and we watched Jackass 3 together. <laughs> I was, like, 15. <laughs> so awkward, but it was great. Yeah, I watched Jackass with my mom, too. Shark Week. They did Jack a sh- Jackass Shark Week. Did you see yeah, that? they yeah. did. Somebody got injured. Poopies got injured. Yeah, poopies got injured Poopies got injured bad. I so also saw... They made a 2.0 of it where Poopies went back and... And talked about it? Yeah. I saw, I think it was Jackass 4 with... Bruce was still alive. Like my grandma, Bruce and I oh, went, to, went to go see. Him. Yeah, we went to see Jackass Four in theaters. It was the first time a dick was shown. He was like, "Grr!" Like, what the fuck is this? That was so great. Not surprised my grandson took me here. Right? <laughs> F word was thrown around. I'm sure. Which F word? Yeah, I can't. Which say one? That. Fart. It's what the British call Fart. a cigarette. <laughs> you Sterling. You Sterling. <laughs> Uh, well, we've got a giveaway. All right, well, <laughs> I'm not brand shipping. Then it's not horse cum. Shake it for there are it? definitely or is tickets it? in here. You can kind of see them. There's like, actually, they don't actually all say show. Donna. No, actually, so that way everyone knows that there is legitimately that. tickets in there. Hundreds. And they're different Hundreds colors. Of tickets. Hundreds of tickets. Shake <laughs> it up. I swear to God, Donna. We won't say it. We won't say the name. Don't say the name. Do we say the number? It's Donna. It's Donna. <laughs> it's Donna. Yeah, we're not going to dox you because we don't like to dox our customers. We'll just we'll give out the number. We'll throw that out. We're not going to take pictures of them either. And we'll call you. I'm going to take a. I'm going to take a, a personal name. picture. Give a first name. No, not even. Not even. Oh my god. I'm going totally no dox. Let me see it. Let me see it. Give read out the number. Do they have the numbers? Yeah, they should have kept it. Five nine three one four six. Call them right now. Again, five nine three one four six. If you're still awake, we're gonna call oh. this number. Oh, you didn't put your area code in there. It's what gotta the be five eight five, right? Yeah. If you call him, you're doxing. This number? Air, first of all, this area is surrounded by three one fives and seven one sixes. I guess we're gonna call you. We're gonna dox you. How? Hey, this is Brandon. We're trying to reach you by your car insurance. The you're, Maverick, right? You are live. Maverick 88? Yeah, you get to pick it if you want 20 or 12 inch. I think, I think Glock sells Maverick stuff, yeah. What time is it? This kid's probably asleep. <laughs> it's 8.30 at night. But, okay, well, what time are you supposed like, to do? I'm just calling call? for my cell phone. It's going to look like a fucking spam call. This is, this oh, is great. Yeah. This is great content. It's all right. Come on, buddy. Pick up the phone. He doesn't answer. He has to give it away to somebody else, right? No. All right, we'll call. We'll call. That's okay. That's cool. Whatever, dude. Pick somebody else. No. Fuck that guy. 
Jesus. No, just kidding. No, you're cool. Jesus. I'm sorry. First of all, it was a not a woman. No, no it was. First of all, you don't know how they identify. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I know your phone's fucking gonna go postal. Oh, every single time you take the video. Do you want to hear my phone try to blow up? This is me when I try to take a picture. Oh my God. This is why I can't do surveillance. <laughs> <laughs> my phone is so busted. <laughs> What's really creepy is I'll like wake up in the morning, turn off my alarm, and I'll start getting changed, and I'll leave my phone on the bed face up, and I'll just hear it. Which means your camera's on. The camera just turns on oh. randomly for like three or four seconds. It's freaky. Well, because it's trying to triangulate where you are. I think you can't do surveillance because you're seven feet tall. I did really well. <laughs> I think you underestimate how well I did, but I can't really talk about that. So, yeah, you can. Because it's still classified? Yep. <laughs> yep. What'd you say? 50 years after the last survivor has died. I, I actually mean. agree with Justin. Sorry. What did they say? I think we should draw again for your Barrett. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you guys want a Barrett, <laughs> if you want to have Brandon's Barrett, we can get you. An M one oh seven. Like five. It's yeah. crazy. I'll even let Brandon hold, hold it. You want an eighty two eighty one? We were legitimately we like we were like, is something going on? Like should we are there like forums we're not reading? And then, we saw, and then, and then we saw the email about <laughs> New Mexico and everything. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, that makes sense. I am down to arm Speaking people of New in New York with fifties. Did 50s. you notice one of the semi trucks had the license plate for Texaco or for Texaco. Texaco. <laughs> Jesus, for Texas, and then their other license plate next to it was Mexico, so they could go in and out. They, cool. they had two different license plates. That's pretty sweet. That was freaking awesome. How many pesos does that set you back? Uh, a couple two About tree fitting. <laughs> <laughs> two, 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 two tree fitting. <laughs>